It's day 63 on the block, and although their apartments are finished, it's not all over yet. So, there's no time for sleeping in. I hate that alarm sound. Oh, I hate it. Morning. Just doing the, uh, quite loud thing and watering the plants. <laughs> Second day of the house, Reno. Very excited that it's not going to be a 46 degree day. The heat wave's over, but um, still pretty muggy in the air, so I just sort of give them a little bit of a drink before we head off today. One house in seven days is a, it's a big chunk. Can't wait to get stuck in. Yep, we're about to disembark to Queen's Bar. Might put some clothes on first, too. Eh? No, don't worry about that. <laughs> With the auction of their completed warehouse apartments just over a week away, our teams have been paired up to renovate two neighbouring houses. In Melbourne's northern suburb of Greensboro live Block superfan Steve and Fiona. They might have missed out on becoming contestants, but they hit the jackpot, scoring a big spruce up of their little renovator's delight. Welcome to our house. Ah, oh, thank you. Very yeah. cool. This is it. So this is it. This yeah. is... This is pretty much how we bought our house. And their lucky neighbours, John and Dawn, get the same five-star treatment. Their claustrophobic cluttered house, chock full of corridors, will never look the same again. Hi, guys. Welcome to our house. Wow. Thanks for having us. That's all right. This is our lounge room at the moment. Oh, it's yeah. perfect. No need to touch that. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, folks, they're transforming them inside and out. Pulling down walls and ceilings, changing rooms and floor plans. And landscaping these desolate backyards. It's a huge job, and in just seven days, these homes will be unrecognisable. Up for grabs, money off their reserves come auction night. It's 500 bucks per point per house, and $10,000 for each couple in the winning house. So it's definitely worth going into battle for. Yesterday, our two sets of two couples packed and planned. And today, it's action time. Or is it? Morning, you two. Uh. <laughs> Jeez. Welcome to the block. <laughs> Thank you. A special day today for you, isn't it, Pete? Is it? Happy birthday. Happy, happy <laughs> birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We'll make your wish come true. In house one, the twins have joined forces with Steve and Chantel to renovate Steve and Fiona's place. They have a four bedroom home, with a main bathroom, and the framework up for an ensuite. The first rooms for delivery are three bedrooms. They are due in just three days' time. Let's do this. In house two, Kyle and Cara have teamed up with Brad and Dale to help out John and Dawn. They also have a four bedroom house, but with just one bathroom. These guys also need to deliver three bedrooms in three days. We've got a huge amount of work to do in there, and apparently we've got a week to do it. So a whole house in a week's just extraordinary. There's some structural things we've got to look at first thing this morning, make sure that the house is safe and sound and the walls that we want to pull out can be pulled out. We can then get on with getting the structural stuff out and uh, get on with rebuilding and start designing. These guys are designing something big. They're transforming one of the bedrooms into a walk-in robe and ensuite. So, you know, I reckon by doing this, we've got a bit of a game-changer for yeah. sure. 
I hope they realise that unlike the other bathroom and kitchen due at the end of the week, they only have three days to deliver that ensuite. Fiona's birthday as well. No way! Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's, birthday. it's Steve's birthday too. But for these guys, there's no time to celebrate. It's straight into renovation mode. Right. So what's the plan, plan for yeah. today? We're just going to each go into our rooms with, our, with the chippies that are here and go over the game plan with them. And then I think we're going to head out. You'll yep. probably come with us. Yeah. Um, to Carpet Court to Beacon, to 40 Winks. All right, let's 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 break off and concentrate on what we need to do and All then right. regroup in like an hour. Yep. All right, cool. All right, okay. Sweet. Let's go. No do it. First stop, the kids' bedroom. Chantelle has gone all out to impress her new client. So we elaborated on some plans um, that we sort of talked through yesterday. So single bed along here and still a single hovering bed along here with a little hidey hole cut out up the top. A little hidey hole cut out down the bottom. So then to get up to the top, you go up the ladder and you just crawl past or whatever, a little hidey hole. Yep. And oh, you wow. bed. And then there's wow. a railing just to be safe. That's good, isn't it? Chantelle was going through the design. I loved it. No. The layout of it is amazing. The kids will love all the little hidey places, the little TV they should it's go just, in. Yeah, it's incredible. What do you reckon? I that love it. Awesome, it. I love all the little, yeah, the little yeah. hidey places and the little nooks. Definitely that they go can. for it. Cool, yeah. awesome. This is a kid's room um, at the moment for yeah. our, our nieces. We've both got two little nieces. That's right. Both about primary school, starting primary school age in kinder. So mm -hmm. something for them when they come and stay oh. over. And these, these guys are throwing in these fantastic ideas that, honest to God, we'd never come up with. They take so it to level. So we're just going, just go for it. So I got it. Yay! Cool. All right. They absolutely love it. They're really, really excited, which is awesome. Having, like... The twins are arguing, I mean, discussing what sort of wardrobe to have in the guest room. You're not going to put your clothes like that, right, and then have your clothes like that? Well, you can. No, you can't. It's a guest room. No, it's They're not going to be having like a whole thing. So of they're sisters, so sisters fight. But there's been a few, a few issues they haven't agreed on, which is quite interesting to watch. All right. Well, you want to give me your opinion about mine then? Don't. Have I yet, Sandra? I'm just saying. Like I'm talking about it. With Chantel and the twins taking charge of a bedroom each, the rest of the house is a team project. So, making decisions on whether to increase the size of the existing ensuite might not be that simple. Obviously, painting the master bedroom, and before I can do that, we really need to work out the size of the master ensuite and what we're doing with that. The problem is, Chantel thinks they should lose the window to give them more layout options for the shower and toilet. What do you think about not having a window in a shower? If it was my house, I wouldn't do it. I'd like to keep a window in here if we could, if yes. it was possible. To me, the most Im important person in this is Fiona and what Fiona wants. Yeah, ideally I'd like to keep a window that opens because I think it's over the time it's going to need it. It's hard when you're working with someone different because Lysandra and I, if we disagree on something, we fight it out and you can say how you feel. But when it's someone else, you know, and you're both very opinionated, it, it makes it a little bit more, I don't know, hard. I think we need to go to Reese yeah. before we waste any more time trying to map this out. Yep. There's no point. We're just wasting time. Kitchens and bathrooms are what sell houses. So these guys need to agree and agree fast. We've already wasted so much time talking about it. What if, what if, what if? Let's just get there. We've got the measurements. We'll work out what we can do. And while we're at Reese, we'll map it out. There's definitely a bit of friction happening between Chantel and the twins. They're at loggerheads. I don't think anyone's winning. I know they're, they're just holding it at the moment, but soon there's going to be an explosion. It's, it's going good working with the twins. They seem to know what they're doing. They're switched on. They don't waste time. They're pretty definite on what they want. Chantal and the twins, I think they're getting along OK. I have enough trouble trying to keep Chantal happy, but Alyssa and Lissandra and Chantal... I don't, I don't want any bit of that. <laughs> Over at House 2, Brad is running through plans for the master bedroom with house owner John. They're turning the adjoining bedroom into an ensuite and walk-in robe. 
If they have any hope of pulling off this big move, they need a decision right now. And they need to stick to it. You walk in and then the vanity will be here on your left. So you have a vanity, toilet and shower. Beautiful. Happy with that? Oh, I'm very happy with that, thanks. Cool. All right, Done. get back to it. With the plans approved, these guys aren't wasting any time getting into the demo. And the shopping too. Virtually like a tornado, just ripped through there. And, but you know, that's the idea, isn't it? <laughs> you got to make it worse and make it better in the end. Demolition in progress. I was sent it through to Cara, and um, she'll show Dawn. So I suggest uh, this type of carpet here, I and like that colour look great with the white kitchen. Mm. Yep. Are you happy with this? Yeah. If you're happy with it. Yeah, that's like definitely the gray. best. Oh, here, are, Dawn. That was quick. Next up is tiles. Or make you. that too. <sighs> well done, girls. To a good carpet and laminate selection. Yeah. Well done. Just got a text from Kyle Dawn. It's a photo of the roof. Do you want to see? It's called Open Living. Step. Step. Coming up, what will Dawn think when she returns home? What has happened? <laughs> It's the first full day of renovating two neighbouring houses. So it's no longer team against team, it's house against house. <laughs> Winning the last challenge gave our Super K's their pick of teammates. Brad and Dale. They chose the boys, leaving Steve and Chantel to work with the twins. These guys didn't choose each other, but let's hope they can choose their flooring. Hey, so we just got whisked on the you? street. Yeah. yeah. That the boys, the guy, the other team have gone this colour and that. <laughs> really? Well, and you know we what? We don't That's... want to do the same. I don't want to sell out. I don't want these guys to get an inferior house. They need to get what they want. Plus, as well for us, you know, our design, we shouldn't have a, an inferior. We shouldn't have It won't be inferior, though. No, but I mean, we shouldn't make any design sacrifices. Chantelle's obviously a very different taste to us, so she won't back down if she's not happy with it, and neither will we. Hang on. You guys are supposed to be on the same side now. It's about finding that happy medium. You know, we, we want to win 10 grand off our reserve, but we also want Fiona to be happy with, with her place. So we're still confident that we can do both. Back at the house, the Steves are relying purely on the power of positive thinking to conjure up Sean the Builder. Sean, 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 Sean. Oh, oh, Jesus. Up, boys. <laughs> you said worked. Steve and I used our mental powers to summon Sean into the room from out of nowhere, <laughs> boom, and just appeared like magic. <laughs> and uh, my first thought to Steve was, if that works, let's summon somebody else. Miranda. 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 Good try, boys. <laughs> Over at Reese, it's time to pick some fancy fixtures and fittings for the bathrooms. Kyle and Cara and Brad and Dale came in this morning and put a suggestion to us that one of our bedrooms be turned into an ensuite and walk-in robe. I don't mind the fact that it would then be turned into a three, not a four bedroom house. The thought of a walk-in robe and an ensuite, brilliant. I hope you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know how to work them. <laughs> to me, today, coming looking at this is like being a child let loose in a lolly shop and just being told you can have what you want. And I can't believe it's happening. <laughs> it's wonderful. I want a soft closed lid toilet. We can do that. Give us cupboards underneath, storage, 
and storage is an issue in our house. Yeah, we've noticed. Yeah. And we want to give you as much cupboard space as we can. Well, it seems these guys are all on the same page. The twins, now off on their own, have stopped by a recycled timber yard to see if they can find something suitable for a... Need 15 square metres. For the spare bedroom, Cassandra is designing a custom built-in bed with a statement bed head that wraps around onto the ceiling. We found something that is different. They're actually old skirting boards. Mm. They're really It does thick. make me a little bit nervous. No, just run with it. And I, I think we're just, just looking yeah. at this as... It's not our apartment. Yes, it is somebody else's house, but we can be a little bit hard for us to take that little bit of a step back and go, right, this is for the everyday person, not for, you know, the rich business person. So it makes me a little bit nervous. As a favour, I'll drop it off tomorrow. Thank you. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be happy once these houses have some floors and walls. First stop, house one. Well, hello, boys. Scotty. Scotty. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Happy birthday, mate. Thank you, mate. Unbelievable. <laughs> I've got lollies, so I'm happy. Happy? How old are you? I'm 35 today. 35 today, just a yeah. spring chicken. And I believe it's the boss's birthday as well. Yeah, well, no, the, yeah, the boss is, yeah. Well, Your boss. OK, my boss, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> we all give in sooner or later. Are you on track? I think we're going all right. I'm, I, I think we're doing pretty well, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we've got as much work to do as what next door. Have you been next door? I've had a sneaky peek just over the fence. It looks like it's 1968 and the house has been built. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. Right. It's gutted completely. Yeah. There's nothing in there. As yeah. we know, this means a lot to you. You're getting a brand new house, but it means a lot to this bloke here as well. A lot, a lot at stake. 10,000 bucks off your reserve plus 500 per point. The block, historically, has always been tight. Yeah. Mm. And we, being the underdogs, need as much help as we can get. So we are, yeah, we're doing everything we can to help you and also yeah. help ourselves at the same time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that selfless, is it? <laughs> yeah. I'm I happy. thought it was all for me, Steve. It's all, it's all about Steve, that's what I always say. Yeah, always... Steve doesn't give us stuff about Steve. <laughs> Steve cares about Steve. 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 Yeah, so he's, um, he's good fun to work with, Big Steve. <laughs> he did a good job today, so, um, yeah, it was good. Look, he's, I think he's been doing the demo work. Demo. Yeah, the bathroom's been ripped out, the kitchen's been ripped out. Yeah, um, it looks like they've got a lot yeah, of cheese actually. Yeah, they have. All this on his 35th birthday. Now, where are those twins? Ah, uh, yes, we need some beds. Lisa is designing a built-in wall panel to go behind the bed in the master bedroom. It will have recessed shelves for ornaments and books. I need to pick out some bedside tables and a wardrobe. A tall boy. No wardrobe. No, we're getting that built in. No, one. that's a cupboard. What? A wardrobe. Yeah. Wardrobe is the same as I don't think a it cupboard. Is. Yeah, isn't, isn't that's a chest a of drawers? Yeah, that's a chest of drawers. It's a tall boy. No, a tall boy's tall. Well, it's still drawers. <laughs> it's a ward. It's a well, set of drawers. It's not a wardrobe. Wardrobe's hanging. Yeah, we're managing to tick things off the list and fill up my rooms, slowly coming together. Eleven twenty. Well. Plus ten eighty. Plus eighty. Plus that hundred for that lamp. So that's four In budget. Zero. In budget. Well done, girls. No peaking. I wouldn't dream of it. Back at house two, Dawn is in for a big surprise <laughs> when she sees what the boys have done with their morning. What has... What has happened? <laughs> I have no... Wow. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So we've, uh, we've been doing a bit of demo. Uh, oh, only a little bit. Only a little bit. Yeah, a few subtle changes. My God! Dawn was in shock, but I think she really trusts all of us, which is so nice to know. Hopefully, we can um, live up to her expectations. Pretty much gutted the whole inside of her, of the force. 
four bedroom house, so. We've eliminated another couple of walls, added in a uh, ensuite and a walk-in road to a, to a master bedroom. Now we've got to work out how to rebuild it. <laughs> <laughs> we, hoping, we don't do things half-heartedly. <laughs> I cannot comprehend what has been done in half a day. I have no house. <laughs> I have a shell. But this is... Oh. All my Christmases have come at once. They have all come at once. It's a new home. And it will be John and my home. John and my home. Rather than my home that he moved into. It'll be ours. Coming up, House One gets some shocking news. You've got a major structural problem here. Yeah, the situation gets a lot worse. This one hasn't got anything at all. Just three days to deliver the first three rooms and the rest of the house due by the end of the week, there's tension amongst some of the teams, but not amongst the neighbours themselves. John and Dawn have a lot to thank neighbours Steve and Fiona for, because without them, they wouldn't be getting this amazing opportunity. How are you? Not too bad. How's it going over there? Right? Oh, it's unbelievable, mate. Yeah? Incredible. <laughs> they are really, really going for it. Yeah? So, Got plenty of work done today? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How's yours going? Yeah, it's going really good. That's Didn't good. think he realised how much work that he was going to be doing, no. but um, he's coping well. I think he's really enjoying it. We know the rules. The rules? Yeah, well, I, I, I got you this, so your house can't be better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good laugh, boys. But Cara has worked out why she thinks her team are going to win. Yeah. The thing is, although we're doing a lot more, yeah. we've got three very handy boys. Yes. <laughs> that we're not paying for labour, you know? Like, they've got three girls who can't do what the boys can do. Exactly, yeah. Labour-wise, like, yeah, uh, yeah. like, building things. Yeah. And Steve. <laughs> so. And Steve. <laughs> now it's tile time. These guys are shopping for two bathrooms. You'll love this, Dawn. Will I? Yeah. Main will have a huge vanity and a bath under the window. The ensuite We'll have a large walk-in shower with recessed shelf and a soft closed toilet. Now, if you want, yes. Brad and I won two bathrooms and Cara only won one. So if you want to, <laughs> do you want to go with the no, that's not right. I won one bathroom and we won this week too, which included the bathroom. So we both won two. What do you mean? Two. What bathroom? Dale and Cara were arguing about who had the rights over the bathrooms. Dale was saying, "I've won two. You've only won one, Cara. I want the, the rights to pick it. How okay. about we do one idea of your bath... Uh, one bathroom with your idea? Yeah. And one bathroom with your idea. Oh. Can I have the bigger bathroom? Of course you can. No, no. Yes. <laughs> no. It's girl power. I can have it work. So we're happy with these two, Dawn? I love it. We have now sorted the tiles, and I am thrilled that Cara and Dale and I have similar tastes, or I'm easily led. Well, that's sorted. So, Cara's shopping for the main bathroom and Dale for the ensuite. When I set this week's challenge, both teams had to deliver the three bedroom areas in three days. And just because the guys in house two have decided to make one into an ensuite and walk in, it's still due in 48 hours from now. But I have a sneaky feeling this might not have registered. Where's Brad? Oh, here, mate. Mate, I've just been thinking outside, right? I just want to clarify something. Right. I was being a nice bloke the other day to give you three bedroom spaces to kick off with, to ease you into it slowly. Yep. But now you're turning this bedroom into an ensuite walking. Yep. So you realise that this has got to be delivered. Even though it's a bathroom, it's still a bedroom space. Yeah, we thought maybe because we were changing it into a bathroom, that then this would be delivered with the bathroom week, or the bathroom reveals later in the week. That's a really good try, but this is the three bedroom spaces that we're delivering. You've just changed your bedroom into something different. 
Yeah, well, we're trying to do the best thing for John and Dawn. So we're trying to do the best thing for the reserve reductions. It's all, yeah, we're trying to do, do the best thing for our reserves as well, but we spoke to John and Dawn and they said they would love this to be a walking over and ensuite as well. well so. Mate, all I can say is you're a terrific bloke. Good on you. We're doing that for them, so. Yeah, doing a bathroom and a walk-in robe in 48 hours is <laughs> bloody terrific on you. Good on you. Well, well done. We'll have the walk-in robe done. Yeah, I know you will. The and bathroom. the bathroom. The bathroom might be a bit tricky. No, nah, bathroom's got to be done, mate. Right. Come right on. House. Right out. We'll do our best. <laughs> no. <laughs> If we can get cut, we'll cut this floor out, yeah. sort out that bit at the end, yeah. put the sheet in it, get it waterproof tomorrow. Remind me how many hours we've got left? Well, we've got till the end of today, we've got tomorrow, the next day. No, we've got heaps. So we uh, decided that this is the way we wanted to go. Uh, everyone was on board. John and uh, Dawn were on board as well. So, you know, we've made a lot of extra work for ourselves and now we've just got to pull it off. How are we going to find a, a plumber? Tomorrow. 1 800 plumber. The thing is, with this project, you've got to go backwards before you can go forwards. So at the moment, we're still going backwards. <laughs> and an alarming rate. <laughs> and there's some equally challenging news coming for House One as well. Good. It's actually lucky we're doing a Renault. What was that? You've got a major structural problem here. You've got two roofs meeting down onto this beam. But this beam isn't, a, isn't touching that top plate yeah, there. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So it's basically doing nothing. The other thing is, this beam is probably about a third of the size it should be. Now, see how it's all sagging? Yes. Because this beam isn't adequate. That's right, yeah, OK. So we're going to have to run a big fella. Two, probably two, two 290s. It's a big span from that wall right across to here. Right. And we're going to have to lift the whole roof. We're going to have to put supports here and here. And we're going to have to jack the roof and everything back up to its original position, including the ceiling joist, which entails taking the ceiling out here and probably the ceiling out this side too. Bit of work in it, though. Jeez, I'm glad you're here. I'll tell you what, <laughs> I can't believe it's still standing well, seriously, up. seriously, I reckon if you had left this for another couple of years, it would have just about collapsed. That's it's lucky that we come across it. I'm lucky that I'll come across you. <laughs> <laughs> We probably wouldn't have found that for the next seven years, eight years, maybe, unless we had to change something, so... Or unless the roof fell on us. Unless so. the roof fell on us. But it doesn't stop there. Yeah, the situation gets a lot worse. Yep. This one hasn't got anything at all. This one's just got studs. Hasn't even got a beam at all. Put my hand in there, nothing there at all. Just a couple of little studs, which aren't anything. They're not structurally anything. So it's lucky we're doing a reno here, because um, Steve and Fiona, would have had a major catastrophe in, I'd say, two or three years' time. When you have a ridge, you have your beam below it, and we have struts that go from <clears throat> on top of the beam to hold up the ridge. This hasn't got a beam to bear on, so again, we've got a massive roof load that's just beam, uh, just sitting in fresh air. So we have to put another beam in here as well. Mm -hmm. No wonder their faces aren't happy. They know they're going to have to work around all of this and still finish on time. Apparently, the ceiling's collapsing because whoever built this house previously or the previous owner didn't support the ceiling like they had to. So now all the beams have to get reinforced, which is, you know, two days work. Full two days work with five of our carpenters. We've got two and a half days until reveal, and I do not, I can't understand how it's going to happen in time. But no amount of setbacks are going to stop this lot from celebrating Steve's birthday in style. Though Steve and Fiona didn't get an invite to the party, they're still with their team in spirit. Do I try, do I 
But not everybody is having so much fun. Despite the good times and the hectic schedule, there's still time to miss your family. And the most affected are the mums. We had a really nice night for Steve's birthday. We went out for karaoke and everyone stayed out, but I don't really feel like it, so I've come home and I just need to be by myself for a little bit. I'm just try and organise for my boys to come over to see me. Because even though we've got a week left, a week feels like so long. It's the morning after the night before, and heads might be a little sore. Yes, I do. I believe no, no, the one day I will be <laughs> where I was, right there, right next to you. If we've got four days to do three bedrooms, and then that means we've got three days to do two bathrooms, a kitchen, a laundry, a <laughs> landscape gardening for all of that side, living, dining. Oh. That ain't good. I think it might be time for you to get up. Well, that's the alarm to go back to sleep, is it? Uh, uh I said get up, not go back to sleep. Oh, my time's there. Already in Greensboro, yeah. Team House 2 are taking things a bit more seriously. These guys know there's no time to mess around, especially since they've got to deliver an ensuite in just over 48 hours. Well, you can't pull an hole this early, you two. No, I know, we're just straight in here. We're just trying no, to work we're trying out to yeah, where do everything it in such a is. Short time. This is a, an ensuite within a week. Yep, yep, you'd be stairs. Come on, you two, get out of there. Uh, hang on. Stop mucking around. Okay. We've got a house of bloody renovated in here. Hey! <laughs> That's right, guys. Let's get on with the Renner. What would you like John and I to do today? What can we be doing? Um, these bedrooms, I suppose, need... If you wanted to start maybe pulling the blinds down... Yep. ..and all that stuff in these rooms, cos we've got to start um, probably trying to get a coat of paint on these rooms by the end of the day, I reckon. So, yep. um, yeah, this maybe you could just well. strip yeah, that out. Yeah, it out. These guys have taken on a massive task, turning a bedroom into an ensuite and walk in in just three days. But with all hands on deck, it could really be a winning move. Keep up the good work, I Thank like it. We're going to use these doors again. Uh, the frames are just a little bit uh, golden and aged, so um, they're, they're still good doors, though, so we're going to put them back on the wardrobe and just get a metal self-priming paint that paint them up gloss white or something, so bring them back to life. With the first three rooms to be judged well underway, teams need to start forward planning. The rest of the house is due in just over five days' time, so the first issue for House One is the layout of their living and dining areas. I noticed that we were talking about having an open fire through yes. here. I can't like say I'm little personally little loving no, the, fire, the, the fire in, in that spot. I think it's very random. I wonder whether we could move it. I mean, and what's happening over here? That's getting we're ripped knock, out We're going to knock that out. We're going to move it out. So then there's... Out. You need to envision the couch, couch there. Or TV couch, or TV, and then TV. something. Yeah, but oh, the something. couch, you want to be near... Well, then that can go there. But I'm just saying that that, that is a usable wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a usable wall. Yeah. With that settled or not, it's time to get to more pressing issues, like stopping the house falling down. Yesterday, these guys found out there were some major structural issues with the support beams in the roof, so they had to rejig plans and timeline. Obviously, yesterday, there was a problem with these beams, these support beams. Yeah. How are we going to fix that, and how long do you think that will take? So we've got to virtually rejig this all up, yeah. and then re-put a beam back inside that wall there. So that's probably about maybe two and a half hours, three hours just there. Okay. Um, we've got the other one uh, over here as well. Well, house one was definitely in front, but they've opened up the, the lounge room out the back, and we've discovered that 
the beam that's there isn't adequate to take the load of the roof. So there's a major repair going on right now. Knowing the roof is in good hands, Elisa has some big plans for the master bedroom. First up is a custom wood panelled wall feature with recessed panels. But to be ready in time, this needs to start while she's out shopping. So I want to do something similar to this, but instead of the brickwork, I want to put timber in there. For the moment, we're going to go 350 outside edge. Yeah. Stud work around. So I'm going to colour in yeah. where all the stud work needs to go. Yeah. So anywhere there's no studs, you're going to see this timber come through. Right. Yeah. Building by numbers. I love it. Just down the corridor, Chantel also has some very ambitious plans. For her kids' room, she's planning on built-in bunk beds, cubby holes and hiding places. I'm freaking out about the level of the competition now, you know, where I'm freaking out about the fact I haven't made certain decisions and that we're not underway because this, every single point that we get from the judges, that's dollar in our pocket on, reserve, on uh, auction day. And we have to win. We have to win. If Chantel can pull this off, it's potentially to be really impressive. It's that fine line of if she doesn't pull it off, it could look really tacky. With the tiles, we've just got to make sure that with the floorboards that it sort of marries yeah. in, otherwise you get that yep. uneven, uneven step. Mm. With their strict instructions firmly in place, it's time for these guys to start forward planning and head out shopping for their bathrooms and kitchens. As uh, Sean would call me, I'm a ball breaker, but ball breakers get stuff done, so... We've got two ball breakers on the case now. Yeah. Are you a ball That's breaker? That's good. I love it. Are you a yeah. ball breaker? I can be, if you want. Yeah. Three ball breakers on Absolutely. the case now. And we'll... Did you realise what you'd walk into today? It doesn't look far from home, does it? <laughs> <laughs> and just thank you for stepping in and helping no, us. Right. Yeah, thanks a lot, mate. That uh, really helped. Yeah. We really needed a plumber today. And my favourite son-in-law. Yes. Yeah! Your only son-in-law. <laughs> I'm a bit dubious at the moment with our house too. We'll get this ensuite over the line. I reckon if we can pull it off, it's going to be a master stroke. A whole bathroom in three days. Yeah. That's unheard of. Yeah, that's why we took it on, because we're the A-team. I bet you in a day or two, there's going to be a few arguments amongst you guys. No, it won't be. Day, mate, day or two, we'll be finished in here. The only arguments we'll be having is who's getting the beer at the end of the day. Yeah. We'll see. The whole house. They're basically pulling the whole house apart and, re and, and redoing it. I think it's seven days to a whole house. But fortunately, they are a great team. If any team can do it, House 2 can do it. Coming up... Maybe run it down that back wall. There's a revolt on the horizon. I like things that are a bit more up Out there. there. Oh, I hate those tiles. Well, while Chantel's not here... Well, that might be a, a very big task. Right. We have to look at the structure around it. Once you remove the brickwork, we're going to be left with a hole. Yeah. So, can't just frame it up on the inside, maybe, and then plaster over. That's what well, I. Oh, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Luckily for them, our resident chimney sweep is in the house. Does it feel good? <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> it never does. It's usually either. <laughs> A dead bird or a dead possum. <laughs> so, with the OK from the man in the know, it's time to remove it. And with the clock ticking, his teammates Elisa and Chantel take Fiona tile shopping. Um, maybe not. Hate wasting time. 
Back at their place, Steve is wasting no time utilising his experience. You know what? I reckon it's about the first time in a long time I've been able to do anything that uh, you probably can't. You're probably right. <laughs> I don't trust this house. No. So we're better off making sure that, that chimney is nice and stable. Agreed. You're the best man to tell me. You look at chimneys all the time. That's what I do. I'll hold the ladder for you, mate. Beautiful. Don't worry, I won't shake it. It'll be <laughs> all right. The tides have turned, eh? They have. Yeah, you're my assistant. Well, this one's pretty old school. But the good thing about the old ways is they used to build them pretty well. True. I'm just going to have a look around here. Just headbutt it for a while, Steve. <laughs> mate, I've done enough of that talking to you. Nah, it looks good, mate. So we have one thing in the house that's nice and stable. And that's you and my relationship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny, I go out to jobs and um, little kids are expecting Mary Poppins. And sometimes, not often, I've done a little sing-song for the kids. Yeah? Yeah. Jiminy, Jiminy, Jim, 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 Thing is, I don't know the rest of the song, so that's about no, as far I'm as the I same, get. Mate. Next door at number two, there's no time for a sing-along. These guys have just two days to complete two bedrooms, a walk-in robe, and ensuite bathroom. And now that we've got the floor down and all the plumbing roughed in, um, the plasters are rocked up, so we're going to get them to hit our ensuite first and get that drying really fast. So, you know, hopefully we can get the waterproofer in this afternoon, tile tomorrow. So we've got to um, pick some beds for the two bedrooms we're going to do. We can either go a mattress and ensemble or we can pick a nice steely mattress and yeah. then find a um, bed base to go okay. with it. Yeah. There is one I have in mind that has drawers underneath. That would be great for our storage, yeah. You love the storage, yeah. don't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> for all our junk. <laughs> Back at house number one, Cassandra's bedroom is progressing nicely. Her bedhead of recycled floorboards is really starting to take shape. It's going to clean up a lot better. You give it a sand and there's so much dirt on that right now. Looks amazing. Shut up, Pete. Gee, it looks beautiful. It will. However, just down the hall, things aren't progressing as well in Chantel's absence. After spending the morning driving from one side of Melbourne to the other, these guys are suffering a bit of cabin fever. Seven rooms and the backyard in just seven days, there's a lot of decisions to be made. So our new housemates need to become teammates, start working together. Should we start writing lists? I'm working yeah. out what I've spent, so oh, leave, no. it, leave me leave me alone. No, I'm just, not no, it's telling you like what you're doing in your room. I'm saying we need a plan so ah, we finish on time. No, but I mean, it, nothing has changed. Yeah, we, but what I'm saying is when we get back, if we write a list of what Sean needs to know in your room, what yeah. they need to do tonight, mm. what needs to happen so that we can finish that room tomorrow. Yeah. I don't know if anything's changed. I'm just saying that yeah, we need a plan because right. nothing's yeah. happened in that room. After some wheeling and dealing and a three-hour delay, our ball busters have managed to get some special treatment. Hi, girls. Hello. 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 Fran has saved the day and opened a store up just for them. No problem. With their kitchen and bathrooms due in less than five days' time, they need to pick three lots of tiles. Maybe Let's no. hope for Fran's sake they can come to some quick and easy decisions. See, I'm, I'm personally not a huge fan of sort of this kind of style. I like things that are a bit more out, out there. there. Oh, I hate those tiles. Yeah, I'm not a fan of them either. Put that with the darker. If we go back to one of the um. Grace. I knew quick and easy might have been wishful thinking. I prefer that one. I don't. I think I probably prefer that one. I'm feeling the pressure of we're running out of time very, very quickly. I'm about to unleash my ball breaker because we're 30 minutes over our time schedule. It's so hard. Yeah. With these guys getting nowhere fast, Chantel answers the call of nature. Well, while Chantel's not here, I love her. So, yeah. You're going to be so happy with this bathroom. Yeah. Let's do it. Made the decision. Made the decision. Good. 
good. Decision's been made. And how <laughs> How'd you go? You've taken too long. Went off to the toilet for two minutes, come back, they've made a decision. As long as three out of four of us are happy with the decision, I'm sold. Looks like that happiness is continuing back at their house. Jim, 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 and just below him, it looks like the other Steve is happy too. He's getting all the support he needs yep, because yeah, these new beams will prevent the roof from collapsing. Sure. Yeah, you're right. Right, yep, yep, yep. Great job, boys. Top job, mate. Pit lock, pit lock a glove. Coming up, Lisa has put her foot down. We don't have time. Yeah. It's been hard to try and get answers from over the phone. We need walls done, we need the bed finished, we need more of the structure done. You could say the forecast is house two, fine and sunny, maybe even a rainbow. Uh, house one, fires out of control and thunderstorms. With lightning with lightning and an outbreak of some form of plague. A lot's been happening at the house while these guys have spent the whole day picking tiles. Of course, they've only been able to check in with their teammates and tradies by phone. Let's hope they're happy with the progress. How's it going? They might not want to speak to us. First stop, Lysandra's guest bedroom. That looks awesome. Yes, this looking yeah, I amazing. I love it. Looks cool. I was thinking about painting this white. Nah, I love it. Yeah, yeah I love it too. Yeah. Looks cool. I like it. What really do you like boys think? Look. Likes it? Likes it, likes it, likes it, likes it, likes it. You invented it. <laughs> so no one else gives a <laughs> Hey, at the end of the day, if, if Steve and Fiona like it. Exactly. Okay. Room one, tick. Second stop, Chantel's kids' bedroom. Ooh, look at this. Thank you so much. Fantastic what you've done. Room two, tick. Oh, how cool is it? This is cool. And I'm like, good night, good night. Very it might cool. look cool, but it looks nowhere near finished, Chantel. And it's got to be done in just over 24 hours. So there's nah, obviously no time for mucking right. around then. Let's Just do this. ask these guys. First, quick. <laughs> I can't yeah. get here. Double bounce ya. Don't jump on. Double bounce ya. <laughs> Stop stuffing around. <laughs> Let me what double bounce ya. Have you got tried some ways to jump in? Yeah, we've only got three bedrooms and an ensuite to do so. Plenty of time, you know. Always time for a bit of a jump around on a fully enclosed trampoline. I know that John likes a stiff mattress because he's got a bad back, so trampoline could be the go. Help him get out of bed quick in the morning too, so. As a physiotherapist, mm. definitely recommend a trampoline as a bed. Yeah. Quick, let's go, come on. As a chippy, I can tell you there's lots to be done, and that clock isn't stopping for anyone. The doors still need to be painted. Why don't we... Sean's going to knock Are all we these in. Come on, Chantel, stay on track. You don't need new doors. No wonder you're behind schedule. We don't have the time. It's going to take too long, so we're going to paint them. Let's, you and I, before we go, let's get everything sorted, ready to go, ready to putty. We can get some putty now on top yep. coat. Oh, we'll just go around yep. and start I'm going to get that. We yep. brought it yesterday. OK. Nice one, Elisa. As the man in charge of the build, how does Sean feel about hitting their deadline? Yeah, just the last little bit, just fiddly bits. Right? It's just the last little finishing off. Uh, and because they've been out most of the morning, or most of the day, it's been hard to try and get answers from them over the phone. Chantel's room really just has the structure up and we need walls done, we need the bed finished, we need more of the structure done. We really, really, really want to win. We need to win this. So we're not stopping until the very last day to that very last second. And continuing getting things done at warp speed is what needs to happen next door. 
House 2 have taken on a huge task. They are virtually rebuilding the place. I just hope they can get it all done in time. And as this crazy day draws to a close, it's time to reflect on what's been achieved today. Dawn and John are just blown away by the whole block process, really. It is an unusual thing to watch when the wheels get in motion. Um, things happen a lot quicker than they would anywhere else um, in the renovation world. Yeah, it's a bit of a head spin for the two of them, but, um, yeah, they just walk around with their mouths open in awe of um, the amount of work that gets done. It's finally sunk in, I think, for Dawn and John that they are about to get a brand new home and a house full of furniture, like brand new furniture. I cannot believe how the house is st suddenly starting to take shape now. And hopefully by tomorrow night, this empty shell is resembling an ensuite. We're virtually ready, ready for waterproofing. We're roughed in, we're sheeted, we're plastered, um, we're good to go. It's funny, this morning, Dawn and myself were standing in a big hole here. It's incredible. But now, it's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Tomorrow night... Tomorrow, you guys have got a lot to do. Things are really heating up. If you see anyone standing around just slacking off, keep yeah. them at the bar, cos we need to get moving. A fireplace goes missing. That's a pretty important thing, and it's a beautiful fireplace. We took it out, thinking that we are going to get another one. Okay. And now it looks like it's a bit unsure. Fair enough if we, if we weren't getting one, but we, we needed to know that. I can't see how it's going to happen. Yeah. And there's no such thing as good neighbours. Hey, Binko. Especially when House 2 has a massive secret. They're cutting tiles inside. We did get told to deliver three bedrooms, so if they're not three bedrooms, well, then they're breaking the rules. Mm. That's the case, then we walk out of this competition. No. They just hate it when anyone has good ideas, to be honest. Are they digging their own grave? There's a lot more work than expected. And this ground is that hard. We had to use jackhammer to dig the holes. Good luck. But when money and time are tight... How is this going to get done? Which team will present the best rooms and go one step closer to claiming the ultimate prize? This house and this challenge could make, make the difference between winning the block or not.